Peter Rebecca Angie Ethan Nelson Sophie Eric Oliver Then you lost because Oliver is not a C What you see here is the app I built with the real-time API So I actually built a voice version and a text version And I also tried to combine them uh, But I think I'm just going to show you how this works now So if we go to cursor we can start the backend right So let's just try it out now Okay, so let's refresh this Hello there Greetings, how may I assist you? Can you start by switching to Persona 2 and find out what All About AI is? Sure, I'll share a bit about All About AI. It's a YouTube channel run by a fellow Okay, okay, Chris. stop, 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 stop. And find out uh, what his email address is. His email address is chris at allaboutai.com. How else can I help you? Okay, that was pretty good. You can go back to Persona 1 now and just find out uh, what features or microservices Chris offers. Processing request. Chris offers the following microservices. Engagement on your social media post for $3. A YouTube video shout out for $100. A 15 minute okay, conversation okay, 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 for $40. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's and fine. And a 30 that's minute fine. conversation okay. for $75. Uh, now, now you can talk like a parrot. Squawk! Talking like a parrot I am. What's next, matey? Squawk! Okay, that, that was fine. Uh, I think that's enough for now. So let's talk again soon, shall we? Acknowledged. Ready to assist whenever needed. Goodbye. Okay, so that was kind of the voice version. Yeah, this was just a small sample size of what you can do. But if we go into cursor now, you can kind of see... We have this fields here where we can change up the persona. So I have kind of two personas here. I have persona one, you're a robot, act like a robot, speak very fast, hyperspeed. And we also have persona two, so you're an Irish traveler with a broad Irish accent, right? Speak with a strong Irish dialect and use Irish phrases. And you can see I also added some knowledge base here. So this is the context. So in the context here, I just put in some information about me and you can hear it can use that as content when I asked about, yeah, my YouTube channel and stuff. So we kind of looked that up like, it's not rag, but it's in the prompt, right? So yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this. Uh, it's a bit of a hassle actually to set up. So I'm going to be uploading the code to my GitHub if you want to try this out, but it's a bit of a spaghetti code. So I'm going to have to work a bit more on it to figure out what works and what does not work. But this is working okay now, I guess. Uh, but real-time API is not only voice, it's text too. So I kind of want to show you the text version uh, of kind of the same uh, app here. Okay, so if we switch it up here, if we go here and we just do npm run dev, right? And we start up the backend, so npm start. Yeah, if we go back here now and we kind of refresh this, you can see now uh, we have the able to type in messages. So I can do hello or hey. You can see it's super fast because we have the WebSocket open, right? So it's basically the same as the voice. We have the same WebSocket, but now we're using text instead. So if we do like write a long story, right? Something like this. Uh, we can actually interrupt it by pressing stop. So that is kind of the first time I've kind of interrupted a chat model that is actually writing. So you can see again, if I did like uh, write a long story, right? Uh, if I just type stop, bam, boom, it stopped right away and kind of answers like, okay, I'll stop, let me know. So that, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if there's any good use case for it, but it is something interesting at least. Uh, and that was one thing I did, uh, so now I also try to combine these two so we can actually switch between voice and text at the same time. So let me show you how that went. So if you go into this cursor and we do uh, npm start and we kind of do our npm run dev. This should now be kind of the combined version. So if we refresh here now, you can see we have a text and a voice uh, part right so we can start with something like write a pi code for comp interest so that and here you can see okay we get some python code it's not in markdown or anything but you can see at least we got some python code here 
Uh, yeah, so it's pretty quick. Uh, so if we switch to voice now, right? Can you explain that in like a very short sentence, how it works? The code calculates the future value of an initial investment by applying compound interest over a set period, taking into account the initial amount, interest rate, okay, the frequency it's compounded, and the number of years. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. So I don't know if you caught it there, but the thing that's not working yet in this version is the interruption. I haven't really figured out how to do it, uh, but I'm going to spend some time this weekend and kind of look at how we can kind of interrupt uh, this version too. Uh, but like I said, I haven't spent too much time on it. Uh, but one thing that is damn crazy about this real-time API is the cost. I don't know if I want to show you this. Uh, but yeah, let me just go over here and kind of show you. So... Today, while building this, I spent $15 Ooh. Uh, just testing it out. I haven't really used it for anything. So you can see my bill is up to $38. And 15 of that is uh, just the real-time API. So let me find a better overview here. Okay, so I actually thought I could select a model for October, but it seems doesn't work. But uh, anyway, I spent like, you can see here, $17 actually on the real-time API. I guess it wasn't updated. So that is pretty crazy if you ask me. So you have to have a really good use case if you're actually going to create an app or something with this. Uh, but it is promising. Like I think it's pretty cool. I had a lot of fun with it. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. Uh, I just wanted to dive a bit more into kind of the code and kind of have us set this up. Uh, yeah, just for fun. So if you kind of look at the, the voice part here, that, that is something I found most interesting. Uh, yeah, like I said, the code is just a big mess, to be honest. Uh, but we are using a WebSocket, of course. Uh, so I kind of use just the template uh, that OpenAI documentation have. You can see we are using the GPTO real-time preview model here. Uh, we are yeah, fitting in our API key. But like I said, I'm not going to spend too much time on the code today because it's a bit of a mess. I kind of want to clean it up. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm going to do that and put it up to the, um, my GitHub if you want to actually try it out. Uh, but I thought we can do some changes here. So we have some parameters here. So we can actually change the voice. Let's do a mail. So we can do echo, right? So let's change that. And we can actually do some other stuff here. Uh, so let me come up with kind of a new uh, prompt here to try something else. Okay, so I wanted to try to see how good it is at actually following instructions. So let's do only answer with a word that rhymes with the last word from the user. So let's see how good it is at actually following uh, these instructions. Uh, okay, so let me just... Uh, I got some bugs. I have to kill that port. Uh, let's run it again. Let's go back here and refresh. How do you partner? Gardener. What does that mean? Keen. How old are you? Two. Sushi? Pine. Pine? Fine. Mine. Line. Sign? Sign. I guess I lost there. One. Lost? Gone. That's synonyms. Fun. Fun. One. Two? True. False. Halt. Okay, I think that did an okay job. Uh, it kind of did exactly what we asked it to, but it wasn't perfect. I guess it sometimes did this synonym, but that's fine. But uh, it did always answer in one word, so that was at least promising. Uh, I want to try to make like a simple game. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, so let's try. You're in a game. The game is as follows. Uh, you must always respond with the name of the last letter from the previous name. So if I say John, then you have to say Natalie because of the N, right? If the player does not respond uh, with the last letter, the game is over and that player has lost. Uh, so let's see if it's going to follow these instructions here now. Peter. Rebecca. Angie. Ethan. Nelson. Sophie. Eric. Oliver. And then you lost because Oliver is not a C. You're right. Well played. 
Would you like to play another round? Sure. All right, let's do it. You start. Eric. Then. Nelson. Sophia. Angie. Ethan. Nick. Rachel. No, you lost again. I'm sorry. You suck at this. Looks like I need more practice. Bye, bye, Thanks bye, 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 bye. Anything else you'd like to do? Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Take care. Goodbye. Okay, that worked just <laughs> barely. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe I should have prompted it better. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that wasn't too good. Uh, but semi fun, I guess. Uh, but uh, I guess kind of. I don't have any like great things. Uh, I'm just gonna show you a few ideas I have around this that we might do in the future. But for now, this is kind of all I came up with. Uh, but it's early, right? And I'm gonna explore more. Uh, but I, the code is, yeah, it's just a mess, to be honest. Uh, so, like I said, if you want access, just become a member. I will try to upload this, but uh, like I said, it's not a guarantee that it works great. Uh, but I had fun today playing around with it, and uh, I think that there are some cool stuff we can actually do. So I'm just going to go through a few ideas I have around this. And yeah, the, I think we're just going to call this because I don't, I don't have anything right now. So yeah, like you see here, this hasn't really sparked too many ideas for me. Like I have some other in mind, but the thing uh, I want to try in maybe the next few weeks is actually to do a phone call. So I'm going to kind of set it up with some system instructions that have a goal with the phone call. Uh, so of course I'm going to just hang up if it gets uh, really crazy. But uh, I want to see if this can actually make a phone call to like a real company here. Uh, and just try to get some simple information. It's not going to be something crazy. And it's going to be really quick. Uh, but that is something I want to try to figure out, right? Uh, and it's of course function calling. That is something also. I've been diving into AI agents again. So that is also something I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to try to set up some different tools. That we can kind of have a voice controlled AI agent. Uh, that is something I will probably be doing very soon. And you kind of think, uh, why aren't you trying out multimodal features? So the reason for that is because what's next in the real-time API is more modalities. So they start with voice, then we plan to add vision and voice uh, over time. So we could, of course, try to do like GPT-4 or vision, uh, feed the text input into the API and stuff. But I think I'm just going to skip it. I'm, I think I'm just going to wait till we kind of get that feature, right? Because, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's worth it when it's so expensive. We'll see. I might try it. But uh, for now, I think this is the only ideas I have. And hopefully, uh, maybe you have some more ideas we can try out in the comments. But like I said, there's it's just been a few days. So I have to think about it over the weekend maybe. And see if some new ideas pop up. If I see something online. We're definitely going to try it out a bit more. Uh, but I feel like if since it's so expensive, I kind of feel like, oh. Uh, I'm not going to explore too much until like, I think I have something that is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that was basically the video. So like I said, if you want access to the code, uh, I will upload it. But it's a bit of a spaghetti because I didn't... Yeah, it's the first time I tried this WebSocket uh, setup with OpenAI. So it was not the best code, but I think it works for my use case for now. Uh, so basically that, adds, uh, that is it. Uh, I would advise you to go try it out, but be careful because it gets really expensive right away. So maybe just wait for my next video. <laughs> I don't know. But let me know if you have tried it out in the comments to see if you have some cool ideas. Uh, anyway, thank you for tuning in and yeah, have a great weekend.